Welcome back to New Mexico Wildlife, and I'm Bob Gerding. The Zuni bluehead sucker is native to New Mexico, and because it's such a rarity, many folks are trying to change that. The Zuni bluehead sucker is not a name on everyone's lips, but it is one of New Mexico's rarest fish, and it's fighting an uphill battle for survival. Zuni bluehead sucker is only state listed. Yeah. It's not federally listed. It's a candidate for federal listing, which means that U.S. Fish and Wildlife has enough information to indicate that the fish does need protection under the Endangered Species Act. A partnership of government agencies, private landowners, and the Nature Conservancy are teaming up to help this endangered species improve its chances for survival. About 130 miles west of Albuquerque, on Pueblo public and private land, there is a sanctuary where they survive in small numbers in spring-fed streams. This is the main population core um, and habitat for Zuni bluehead sucker. We have about two miles of wetted habitat here, um, starting downstream a couple of uh, about a mile on a Pueblo of Zuni lands, and then coming upstream here into the Nature Conservancy Rio Nutrio Preserve, and then heading upstream into where it branches into Tampico Springs and the headwaters of the Rio Nutria. The team ramped up the recovery program in 2004, following a plan drafted by the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. Since then, we've been out monitoring every late August for the fish to see how the populations are doing, checking historical habitats to see where potential for rehabilitation can occur, checking our current, currently occupied habitats to see what we may need to do to manage them better. Zuni Pueblo is also actively involved in this survival project, Nelson Luna, director of Zuni's Fish and Wildlife Department, has been working on the project for 16 years. Well, the primary thing with uh, Zuni bluehead sucker is, is that unfortunately, uh, as previous uh, biologists have stated, is, is that we're in an extended drought cycle, and this being a relatively mild uh, and ideal winter, we've got a lot of precept. Previously, the water uh, precept level has been very low and that's been uh, resulting in isolated populations and their numbers have been declining relatively on a steady base. And drought isn't the only problem. There are non-native fish and other species, including beavers, that are competing for the same habitat. The parents are kicking their kids out and the kids are trying to find their own territory and they're just following this riparian corridor upstream and utilizing what is available. But unfortunately, with the amount of flows that come through here historically, it's not ideal for them. It's no easy task capturing the fish for the survey. The electroshock method they use is not harmful to the fish and they can be returned to the water in as little as two minutes after being stunned. The fish are weighed, measured, and some tissue samples are taken. Nelson finds a fish he really likes. You might say the Zuni bluehead sucker is a bottom feeder. It has a, a bottom facing mouth and it eats algae and uh, invertebrates off the bottom. So what we need for it is to have a clean, hard substrate to feed on and then also needs the runs for spawning. Carmen says the results of this year's survey are looking good. The fish that we've seen so far look good and healthy. We found um, young of the year fish, which means that there was a successful spawn this spring. While helping to facilitate the purchase of more than 1,200 acres of habitat in partnership with the state of New Mexico, Rex Wall with the Nature Conservancy knows how important this work is today for tomorrow. Taking good care of these remnant populations is essential to learning more about the fish and then uh, uh, upgrading habitats, uh, spending some money to recondition formerly occupied habitat, and uh, reintroducing the fish where it once lived. Ultimately, it comes down to a dedicated, concerted group effort. Zuni Pueblo has been very instrumental. Um, Fish and Wildlife is very supportive, Forest Service is very supportive, and the Nature Conservancy as well. Um, it's a very small area, but a lot of people are very dedicated to protecting this, what I consider to be the most endangered fish in New Mexico. And for Luna, there's a personal side that's ingrained. From a cultural perspective, think that all living creatures uh, 
deserve a place and a niche in in, in the environment. Uh, it, we'd be missing something if 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 we lose it. So it's uh, beneficial to keep all species that are here currently to be involved in maintaining this ecosystem. It's dedicated environmental guardians like these doing their best to make sure we haven't seen the last of the Zuni bluehead sucker. You can find out more about the recovery plan at the Department of Game and Fish's website at wildlife.state.nm.us. Click on the conservation tab and look for the threatened and endangered species link.